Hey everybody, this is Mark Flockhart with Valor Insurance Group, and today we're gonna to talk about homeowner's insurance and some of the differences between a typical homeowner's policy and a Michigan homeowner's policy. Michigan has a few unique pieces about the homeowner's portion that you wanna know before purchasing a home or buying insurance. Clearly, we focus on the insurance part because it's Valor Insurance Group, but we also are very well versed in the mortgage speaking. We call ourselves fluent in mortgage talk. If you are purchasing a home or if you currently have a home, one of the things you have to look at is the age of the home. For insurance, typically a house that's 50 years or older starts to throw up some red flags. Now, most of the houses in Michigan, at least the majority of the ones that I've seen in the last decade, are older than 50 years. They're kind of hitting that sweet spot where they are getting to be 50 years or older. One of the things that you have to be mindful of is when you're purchasing a home or whether you already have a home and getting a new insurance policy is how old is my roof? Roofs have started to become a little bit of a topic in the insurance industry that really affects your price. You get one of the bigger discounts if you have a newer roof. Even if it's a claim, if you had a claim on the roof and previously it was replaced, you get the little penalty of having a claim, but you also get a kickback or a benefit of having a new roof with a new company. The other piece is when you're buying a house, it makes sense to look at the home and really tell how old that roof is. If you have an inspector, hopefully you do, they're gonna throw a drone up in the sky and see if there's any shingles that are missing. The easiest way to tell if there's been previous damage is either one, have your insurance run the claims on the home, which doesn't cost us anything. So we typically will dial in a home, you tell us the information, we plug it in, and then we can see if there's been any claims on that home because that, with some companies, that can affect the price. The other part about Michigan that is very specific is that the basements can be different. They call them a Michigan basement for a reason. It typically means it's not as tall as a typical basement. So if you're buying a newer home, if you're in that 50 years or newer, most likely you have a standard basement. It's eight foot or even 10 foot tall ceilings, where a Michigan basement is more of like a six foot or even a smaller foot ceiling to where it was just meant to hold like a water heater maybe a heater, maybe something small. And those basements tend to get damp. So the only part that they're really afraid of, and you should be too, is if water collects and stays. Some basements are stone. That's a common Michigan basement for an older home. Those stones are tend to leak over time. Although we insure all of Michigan, we find that most homes are basically in a bowl. So you're trying to prevent water from getting into the home. Even if you have a perfectly poured concrete, it's called porous. That means that it's going to have some sort of a water dampening in the walls. Typically, they'll seal them from the outside and tar it when they build the home, but your older homes don't have that. One easy way to check on your own is to grab a Ziploc bag, rip it open, tape it to the basement concrete. If in a few days you have condensation built in there and it's a lot, then you may have a larger issue on your hands. You may not wanna finish that wall or that basement part quite yet until you've found a way to seal the inside from getting wet. If that happens, mold comes. Mold's not typically covered on most insurance policies, let alone any of them in most cases. So be careful when you have that issue is you wanna make sure that you're either renovating or purchasing a house that doesn't necessarily have those large issues. A minor difference between homes in Michigan versus a standard home policy is the climate. So in Michigan, we have certain weather grading for our insulation. When you get into warm air areas like Arizona or in Florida or getting closer to the heat, you don't have any insulation, let alone some insulation. We have cold winters, so we typically have a certain type of rating. The other part is depending on the home, if it's more of a mobile home or a manufactured home, now you've got a little bit thinner insulation, but you wanna make sure that the manufacturer, whoever built it, did it correctly. If they didn't put the, I believe it's R34, correct me if I'm wrong, It's the, I think it's R34 is our standard or R29, somewhere between there, but it's basically the thickness, the resistant, and the amount of heat that it can trap in. Same thing with the attic. We find more often that you either have a lot of mold in an attic or you haven't had it insulated properly. Those are some of the major things that we find with homes in Michigan. One of the benefits of our state versus other states is we don't typically have a lot of termite damage compared to most states. We don't have a lot of issues with that, although we do have a little bit of rotting because of the weather. The ice melts, gets on the wood. If the wood cracks or rots or whatever the case is or swells, then you've got some of those issues. Now that once again is an unfortunate piece that most often the homeowners won't typically cover that. 
because it's not a covered sudden and incidental incident. Obviously, you need to talk to your agent to make sure you know what coverage you have. There's another piece that we offer with different companies because here at Valor, we insure multiple companies. We work with a handful of them and some have specific guidelines to certain scenarios. For example, once again, if we go to that 50 year or older home, right now it's probably getting closer to 60 years or older, you're gonna have different piping in that type of house versus a newer home. They used to use galvanized pipe, especially around the Detroit area. If you're in Detroit, Michigan, odds are you have a brick home, you have galvanized pipe. Some companies don't care at all. Other companies don't wanna to touch it. So you gotta just be careful. I personally found out why, because it more so the piping itself is fragile over time. It gets brittle. And if you're going to do any maintenance or repairs on it where you have to shift or move that pipe or the ground shifts, commonly those break and you have water issues. The repair on a pipe versus a water backup is typically covered on a home policy. So insurance companies, some of them are a little bit restrictive on the type of piping that you have in the home. As far as electric goes, pretty much all of them want you to have updated electric. If you have knob and tube wiring, that's almost a cutoff for almost every company out there. There are a few companies that will actually approve that portion of the electrical, but nine out of 10 companies probably will turn that type of business away. One of the larger things you should focus on is having the right agent. And that's not necessarily where we need to come in. If you have an agent you love, that's great. But if you don't work with one who knows the coverage of what it should be, what is a replacement cost on your home? Is there an additional cushion if the price or value goes up? The last three years, the prices of homes are way more expensive to rebuild by almost 20 to 30% in some cases because of the cost of the materials. If you don't have the right coverage in place, you may have less coverage to replace your home if there was a total loss. So make sure that the agent that you're working with knows exactly what they're doing. There's a lot of little pieces and little coverages that you can add into a policy. You've got service line coverage, you've got water backup, how much do you need? You've got these additional full replacement costs on the home, which is a cash out value. You've got a lot of different little things that come in packages. Most of the time, these packages give you a discounted price. And if you do it correctly, you might not end up paying more for the better coverage. So definitely talk to your agent. If you don't have one, I'll put in a link in the description below where you can work with us directly. We'd love to help you out. One of our key pieces is that we focus on education. We want you to understand what you're purchasing before you purchase it. If you are interested in just learning more about your homeowners, your car insurance, your personal liability, and sometimes even business types of insurance, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna make a lot of content in our local area. We want you guys to be well informed. Whether you're with us or not, we would love to add value. We we hope that you end up choosing us in the end, but if not, that's fine. At least you get the knowledge that you need to make the right decisions. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Is there any pieces of the home insurance that you would like to know more about or that you're just unfamiliar with? There's a lot of different scenarios and we're gonna cover a handful of them in future videos. I will link another video here that goes over more of the home topics in depth on actual coverage. Well, if you're just looking for a discount option, there's a few companies and options that you can work with that'll save you some money on home and auto. I'm Mark with Valor Insurance. I'll see you soon.